What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Worked It series. So today we're checking out Rock. We're going to figure out if Giant Rock, the donator boss, is worth it. So um, let me give you a little information about the boss before we actually get into it. So for starters, it is a donator boss. The only real requirement is that you have access to at least the first donator zone. Um, every single donator zone can access this. The price is dependent on your zone. So, um, to spawn bosses at the lectern, you use these teleports. And these are basically just teleport you to the zones. And each one is 10,000 coins. So this is 100 mil. So it co it's going to cost 100 mil. We're going to kill 400, I believe. I believe. So I suppose the question is, can you make money back? So this is one that's been pretty popular amongst the players. I've never personally tested out myself, so that's we're going to... We're going to give it a, a go. Um, it's best to do it as an elite because the cost is the cheapest. It's only 100,000 coins per kill compared to Legendary, which is the $500 zone, which is what I am, where it's uh, 250k per kill. So uh, whenever you just click one, it spawns the boss. We are going to be using Death Darts. I would recommend using Death Darts, but you can kill it without Death Darts. It's just this is going to make it go by so much faster and so much more efficiently so that, that's why I would recommend it but you know you can just kill it I'll just you know just keep in mind it's going to take longer and the results uh, you know the, the amount of kills and the amount of loot will be roughly the same it's just the amount of time it's going to take to get there so I will be back with <laughs> with 400 rock go alright so that is it we are out of teleports 908 is the final kill count I don't even have to like sell anything or, or exchange anything to let you know that yes, it is definitely worth it. It is definitely good. I mean, just alone the paper scraps. That's a random schematic right there. That is one full one. Let's do it. Nice. That's a. I think that's 125 mil. Like straight up. That so that so one one thing already paid back. Um, what we spent. That almost. Did that. Yeah, yeah, boom. So, yeah, let me let me go through the process of getting everything together, and I will show you the final loot. Okay, so I'm really not going to... I was going to try to maintain it all in my inventory, but that is just not possible. So we got four Master Clues. We got five Mystery Boxes. One Jab of Dirt. Five Barrel Chest Anchors. These anchors right here sell for straight up 25 mil a piece. So, yeah, again, the question, is Rock worth it? Yes. Yes, <laughs> it is. I don't know if it would be worth it at a different donator zone. I know that it's obviously the most recommended to do it as an elite because that's the cheapest, 100k per kill. Um, and then if you were if you were like a normal donator zone, donator zone, it would be one mil per kill, um, and that would be like 400 mil. So I don't I don't think that would be worth it. But I think if you have contributor and up, it could be it could be definitely worth it. So I mean we've we've got a lot of stuff that we can still get rid of. Um, I'm not going to sell those. I'm not going to sell the blood runes. Keep in mind blood runes. Eight sinister keys. I mean, let me let me get those back out just so we have those there. We did get one jar of dirt. We will spend that. All of the fossil bits we can turn into Numulite, and that's mystery boxes by itself. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. So what I'm going to do, um, since, since the event is out while I'm making this video, and I want to try to get as much pure cash as possible. I am going to open up all these keys, turn in all the Numulite, sell everything, and just see where my cash stack is. I only had 5 mil before, so I can get sort of a rough idea of what we got. Let's exchange the jar, see how many pest control points we get. Pest control. So that's roughly one mystery box. Not a high amount. That kind of sucks. Also got to factor in the 70 leftover paper scraps. That technically gives me another one. But since the other 30 aren't a part of it, I'm not going to count that. But just keep in mind, 75 paper scraps. Also, I looted the cannon and the feathers, but I don't know if they're even valuable. I don't think they even are, so um, you could always not loot those. And there were things I didn't loot. Um, sometimes rare drop table loots, like the, the lava bones and stuff like that. It just wasn't worth the inventory space. Also, you get dragon two-handers, so, I mean, what are these? One mil each, 29 mil, easy cash. Easy cash was able to get 35 mystery boxes. Alright, so I uh, sold most things. We still have those five master clues. I'm not going to open those up, but you can... Well, actually, I guess it's nine, because I did get those from clue boxes, which I got from Rock. So just uh, just imagine what nine mis <laughs> master caskets could include. Um, we also have some stuff we could disassemble, like the black mask tens. 
Uh, yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, we spent 100 mil on the teleports. Um, not too much on supplies. Supplies aren't expensive. Um, and then I think I had like 80 death darts. I used 60 or so in the 400 kills. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. If you can do rock, I would say do it. For sure. I'm about to go take this money, buy goodie bags, and get nothing. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.